So for the past five years, I've covered a wide variety of topics on my channel, but all of them were from the comfort of my condo in Toronto. But today, today's gonna be a little different, a little good weird. See, my friends at Lenovo contacted me and they said, Matt, what if we sent you to California to teach us something new and exciting? To which I said, absolutely. Yahoo! So let's talk about Water, H2O, aqua, you know, the building block of life. So what is water? Sure, it's a colorless, tasteless, odorless, transparent liquid that all organisms on Earth need to survive, but did you know that water is sticky? So who's got water? Well, as it turns out, everyone's got water. See, 70% of the human body is made up of it, which is surprising considering that our skin is covered in an oil that repels it called sebum. Uh, not him. See, sebum is the stuff that prevents your fingers from becoming pruny. So when they get pruny, it's because the sebum washed off. Yep. Water sure is nice. It's the only substance on Earth that exists in all three states, liquid, solid, and gas. It's got more range than Robert De Niro. Yeah, it does. In fact, that's why our Earth appears blue from space, because 75% of it is covered in water. But the real question is, when did all of this water first appear? Well, it's actually a much debated issue among the scientific community. Some cosmologists contend that billions of years ago, a thick layer of hydrogen interacted with oxides in the Earth's crust to create our planet's water. Other scientists maintain that the origin of water on Earth can be attributed to the collision of our planet with countless ice-covered asteroids. Uh, yeah, what, what he said. So where is water found? Well, since water is the most common substance on Earth, it shouldn't be surprising that it's found on every continent. But did you know that water was recently discovered on Mars? and the moon, and that thick sheets of ice were recently discovered on Uranus. Oh. But why are we even talking about water at all? Well, here's why. Because of all the water on Earth, only about three-tenths of 1% of it is actually drinkable. And we use a lot of it every single day. That's why it's so important that we continually develop smart new ways to keep this stuff around. Like in Lima, Peru, where a team of engineers invented a billboard that will actually pull drinking water out of the air. Now, how's that for a good weird idea? Now, if we could just get down, that'd be great. Hey, guys, I'm, go I'm going the wrong way. If we could just get down. I'm getting higher. I I'm afraid of heights. 